Uh, Lucas Jensen, Lincoln City goalkeepers, come to, to join us. Lucas, um, another win for the team. Uh, six, I've lo almost losing count. My master's is trying to keep up 16 goals in a week. And that's an incredible performance. Yeah, what a team performance. Um, I never thought we could score four, five goals against these ones, but we do our homework, um, and it's definitely shown on the pitch. Um, I know you're saying 16 goals in, in three games, but I'm looking at the clean sheet. So uh, we had two, but we could have three if we didn't concede against Barnsley. But if you look at the overall picture, I think we did a, did a good job. The intensity of the team, particularly in the last two games, and that second half at, at Barnsley really stands out. It must be something to be part of in those periods of games, that sort of first 20 minutes, 30 minutes today, and, and obviously the Cambridge game as well, the intensity you play with. I think that's what, um, if you look from the outside, I think that's, that's our structure, our everything um, game plan to actually go after teams and then just put loads of pressure on so they can't get out. We give them no time on the ball, um, so teams, if they want to come and play, then well, they're in for a good roller coaster because um, I think we do a good job of getting the ball back straight away and then we can put pressure on again. Um, so, put five past the Bristol Rovers side that's only eight points behind us is a, is a very good result. I suppose it doesn't surprise you in some ways you train with these players in the week. I do, yeah. Um, I think if you ask them, they'll say I'm very tough of them because um, I, I don't think it's good enough just to um, concede one goal and then win 5-1 uh, as we did against Barnsley. Um, the clean sheets are for defenders and, and goalkeepers. Um, so if we keep the ball out, that's um, a win for everyone. Go on then, six out of seven. Good numbers, isn't it? Um, and 17 overall now. Um, so we've got, what, seven, eight games left. Um, so we'll see where that takes us. And when, when Jacker can't get back in the team, it tells you about your, your, your central defenders, doesn't it? Jacko is a, a very experienced player and he's um, an unbe unbelievable defender as well. Um, so when he comes back, um, obviously he's getting subbed on at the moment, but it just shows the level we got at the moment. Um, and we want to keep going, so we want to fight for every position. Um, obviously the outfield players want to do that, um, and that will just raise the standard for everyone. Um, so I think that shows on the pitch. It's almost in your own hands now. You won't have looked at the league table. Just two points for Oxford have won today. The other two have lost. Orient winning, obviously coming here on Good Friday. But it's almost in your own hands now. It is, but isn't. We've still got to rely on other teams, but um, do you know what? <laughs> if we keep it going, I'm sure we will get it, but like, that's probably a little bit optimistic because you never know what's around the corner. So if, um, if we start to lose a game or draw a game, we might be even more points behind. Um, so we've still got to rely on other teams, but I think we're in a good space at the moment. Biggest attendance by home fans so far this season, just over the 9,000 mark. Oh, they're unbelievable. They're so loud. Um, I don't think you can tell how many fans there are. Um, only if you look at the numbers, um, they sound like way more. Um, some of the away teams we had, sorry, when we played away, um, and they've had double the fans of ours, but ours are still louder than than, um, than their fans. So I think they're doing an unbelievable job being a 12th man. And um, yeah, look how it turns out.